I've used 3D printers for model railroading on this channel quite a lot, but I haven't talked about the other DIY machine that has become widely available in recent years. You know, the one with the lasers. This is the Ortor Laser Master 3 with the 20 watt laser module. It is a laser engraver and cutter. Ortor was nice enough to send this to me to try out. You can carve over 40 different materials including metal, wood, leather, glass, and acrylic. You can also cut 10 millimeter plywood, 15 millimeter pine, and 8 millimeter black acrylic with it, and even a tenth of a millimeter stainless steel. Now, you may have noticed I, that I named quite a few materials that we use in model railroading, more specifically for scratch building. Now, I am a total noob when it comes to working with laser cutters and engravers, so I wanted to see what other model railroaders have done with this tech. Two really good videos that I stumbled across were from one of my favorites, Steve's Trains. He did one where he purchased a laser cutter and gets into the nitty gritty of getting your laser cutter set up. The second was from InScale Dystopia, where he used a laser cutter in combination with a 3D printer to scratch build a prototype building for his layout. By the way, InScale Dystopia is a fantastic channel that you really should check out. Really great stuff. Okay, so the Ortor LM3 was extremely easy to assemble, and not only does it come with really clear instructions, but it also has an assembly video online that you can find. All you have to do is assemble it, pop the SD card in it, and you are off and rolling. The LM3 can connect via USB or Wi-Fi, and you can even run the machine from your phone. The cutter uses an app called Laser Explorer that makes working with the cutter extremely easy. So I decided to see if I could engrave a picture of my layout on a piece of wood. This was extremely easy in the app. I loaded the picture and started the process. One thing to remember is that this is a laser and it can hurt your eyes and do other damage. So be sure to use the proper precaution. I did wear the included safety glasses, which I know you're thinking, dang, Jimmy, those look really, really good. The laser does have protective observation windows, but better safe than sorry. You can see it came out all right for my first engraving. Next, I wanted to try its cutting ability. I grabbed another small sheet of wood. For this cut, I've connected the LM3 to my computer and used the software Lightburn. Now, I have a Mac, so my software options are limited. Lightburn has a free 30-day trial and then it's $60 for a license, but there is free software out there that will work with this laser cutter. It was fairly easy to use, so I'm going to be purchasing a license for this. I created a rectangle to cut out of the wood. I then played around with the pass speed and power settings. I ended up doing 20 passes at 100% and 50 millimeters a second to get my cut. Oh, you see that thing under my print? That's a honeycomb print mat that protects my table from getting lasered. I'll link it below. And voila, the rectangle was cut perfectly with those trademark laser cut black edges. So this is all great, but I wanted to try it with the most common scratch building material that we all use in model railroading, styrene. Now, after watching InScale Dystopia's video on this, I learned that using the laser for precision scoring is the best way to go with styrene. I should also mention that you should use the laser cutter in a well-ventilated space. It does produce smoke and an odor. Now, if you get this laser cutter, it comes with an air pump that helps remove some of these fumes. I went back into Lightburn and drew a basic front wall shape with a door and a window. I wasn't going for scale, I just wanted to see what I could do. I then sent it over to the cutter. Now you can see it definitely singes the styrene a bit, but it is overall okay. The cuts were precise and I was able to remove them easily. So what is my final verdict on the Ortor LM3 and laser cutter engravers? Now I'm a tech savvy person, which helped, but this thing was easy to use for someone who has never used it and never done any laser cutting. I had very little trouble setting it up and getting my first engravings. I also had little trouble using the recommended software. This is a great little laser cutter and engraver. Now, 
As a thank you for reviewing their laser cutter, Ortor gave me a coupon code for you guys. I'll have a couple links below. You can use the code GET200 for $200 off at their website. You can also order this off of Amazon and click the coupon on the page link below for $300 off. Now this isn't going to last forever, so if you're interested in this thing, go check it out because I think it runs out in August. So I'm officially hooked on laser engraving and cutting and this is going to be fun for a lot of my future projects. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, and happy railroading.